have not enjoyed today's event. Hopefully we've given you a lot of information, but the next person to come up to the stage, all I want to say is he's a hustler. His name is Carlton Cooper. He's with TechStot. The information that he's going to give you guys, y'all really need to all come to the front because I think it's information that your business can really, really use. So, without further ado, Mr. Coop, come to the stage. Good afternoon. You still play some more of my theme music. <laughs> it's uh, great to be here. It's been a while. It's been a couple of years since I've uh, been down to Missouri uh, County. Uh, and I tell you, it has a lot to do with uh, something that we all need to know is relationships. I think everything's about relationships. So, uh, and I go way back with uh, Gene and Landis and the relationship we built over a couple of years and the people we've been able to help. So uh, I'm going to kind of start with, uh, I heard one of the gentlemen talk earlier really about uh, uh, finance and access to capital. Uh, you know, I travel in the great state of Texas and I talk to a lot of different businesses and two of the big things that I hear today for businesses is access to capital and bonding. You know, we work with a lot of DVs and hubs, and so one of the things is, is two things is access to capital and bonding. So um, that's very, very important to uh, businesses that, uh, in our industry. I'm, I'm with the Texas Department of Transportation. I'm the public involvement specialist, and we at TechStop uh, have a lot of opportunities uh, that are out there. Textiles Divide has uh, 25 districts throughout the state of Texas. Uh, if you're not aware of that, uh, we have over 40 divisions from uh, construction to uh, 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 procurement and uh, uh, purchasing and uh, procurement. We have uh, uh, our, uh, I was trying to say PEPs, uh, uh, which is our architect, engineering, surveying. We have aviation, we have right of way. We have uh, SSMD, which is our support service division, which oversees our, um, uh, all of our uh, uh, all of our uh, facilities and buildings. You know, we have over 2,500 buildings statewide in the state of Texas, and we're building new ones. We have a lot of new maintenance. So these are opportunities that I'm talking to you about. Today, I probably had a right away conversation about four different times. You know, uh, Lance said, you know, Landis said that, you know, I'm hustling. We had a breakfast this morning that we attended in Houston. And then we came home and drove on down 288, the beautiful 288, I can say, uh, that we, that they're still doing some work on. We're going down to uh, Freeport to be with you all this afternoon. So, uh, I mean, we have a lot going on in this great state of Texas. And, you know, I tell businesses all the time, you need to be ready, willing, and able. Ready, willing, and able. You know, I'm going to use a, go to a sports analogy. Five minutes, obviously two minutes left in the game. Player gets hurt, the coach comes down and calls you, you need you to go in, you got to be ready. You gotta be willing. And hopefully you've been practicing enough to be able. So, uh, but that's you know that's important. But you don't know when, you, when a when a contractor's gonna call you looking for a sub to do work. So you wanna be ready. You wanna have the, the lady just spoke about insurance, the gentleman just spoke about finances. You can't get that together, you don't know when the when the call's gonna be made. You wanna have all of those things in order so that you're really, really able to go to work. Have your contract set up so that if you don't own equipment, that you have an equipment contract with one of these state United Rental, one of these rental companies. You want to have all those things in place, even if you're not working right now. But 
you want to be, if you're willing, you're ready to go for. Text stop, I mentioned construction first. That's kind of the mother of text stop. That's where most of the work is, is in construction. But we have a lot of other opportunities that I named earlier. But I want to just quickly go over some of the, what I call the low hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit being in our maintenance division and being in our support service division, which is our building and facilities related projects. Those are opportunities that get looked over by businesses. They get looked, they get looked over. But they're good opportunities. A lot of those opportunities, and that's why if you see our sign back there, it says, boss. Big opportunities start small. And a lot of people, a lot of our small businesses jump to the big opportunities first. You know, I'll use 288 since it's right there. That was over a two, two billion dollar project. And everybody wanted to work on that project. You know, I'd rather, we always tell people, you in business to make a profit, not just to make money. Because you can make money and not make a profit. So remember that you, we want you to make a profit. So uh, but when I say that, when I talk about this, this low hanging fruit, the maintenance division, you can get pre-qualified in tech stock, which doesn't take as long as a uh, hub certification, a DBE certification, but it gets you in there to working on some of these small projects that start about $50,000 to, it goes up to a million dollars. But you're getting that work in, that could be uh, some uh, uh, roadside mowing, that could be some, uh, some of these little litter uh, uh, pickup on some of these, uh, these parks, that could be from uh, janitorial work, that could be from uh, material supply. There's a lot of opportunity out there on the, uh, on the maintenance side, and there's a lot of opportunity out there on the building and facility related side. And some of them kind of cross over, but they're just in different divisions. And on the, on the, on the building and facility side, janitorial again, we also have some uh, uh, paving. When you look at you go to a district office, you know, all of them, they, they have paving that needs to be done, they have striping that needs to be done. They even, even some of the flooring that's in there are some uh, small uh, plumbing. There's a lot of opportunities, but you have to follow the opportunity. So just wanted you to know that there's a lot of the small opportunities lies, but mainly in our maintenance and facilities. And there's more than what I just named, but I just want to give you an idea of what some of those opportunities are. And when you look at the bigger opportunities in our construction, working on a 288 project, that's where your DBE certification comes in. And Joe Sanchez, you know, who's my colleague, is going to talk about DBE certification for sure. Uh, but uh, you want to have that DBE certification so that you can work on some of these heavy highway construction projects. But I think it's important that you start building a resume with TechStop with the maintenance and the building facilities related projects. You're going to look a lot more favorable to prime contractors. Prime contractors, you don't give them the excuse to say, well, you don't have any textile experience. You know, you will have that experience by working on some of those smaller contracts. Okay? So, uh, if you haven't been paying attention to what's going on with the government and all that, we're just talking about the infrastructure bill with the uh, two, the one, uh, the, 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 the two trillion dollar, you know, right, the two trillion dollars in the infrastructure bill, all the money that's coming from that, that's real. You know, right now, there's, I mean, just, just in this area alone, with all the hospital districts, I don't know, I'm looking at Houston, I'm looking at the, the, the region, uh, you got the airports, Metro, the transit. There's so much, there are billions and billions of dollars that are out there for businesses. 
I don't know if y'all heard me at the back. I'm talking about billions of dollars. You know, even if you're not in business, you can let somebody know who needs to know. I don't know that I don't know that America will ever see this type of money again. And I look at it, I'd say most people that are over 40 years old are close to a majority I know it. So um, I mean I don't know if this type of money has ever been around before, and I don't know if it'll ever be around again. Textile alone, we're getting ready. The government announced about two weeks ago, they added, I think they added another several billion dollars, but the total is like $142 billion that textile, the people that, the state agency that we work for and that we all pay for, taxes. So we're going to be spending $142 billion over the next 10 years. $142 billion over the next 10 years. There's a lot of opportunity there. And if you put this entire region, I would say that's, that's I'm saying the greater Houston region you'll be looking at over $250 billion that's out there for opportunity. So I'm telling you, if you're not ready, get ready. Because when you get ready, then you stay ready. I mean, this is a great opportunity. And people that you know that aren't in business and looking to get in business or that are in business that is not in attendance today, let them know. You don't have to go tell them, y'all missed out on this opportunity. That's the wrong thing to tell them. Yeah, they missed out on an opportunity, but I want to tell y'all, this is what you need to be looking at. You need to be getting DE certified. You need to be getting HUB certified. You need to be getting text out to be qualified. HUB certification is statewide. DE certification is federal. You know, there's a lot of opportunity there. We got. Even with the infrastructure bill, you got EV charging stations. They're going to be in Texas, on interstates, every 50 miles. You know, we need people to put them in. And from what I'm being told, a lot of the money is going to come on the maintenance side. So that's not the they put them in. After they put them in. So uh, there's a lot of opportunity, and, 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 and I tell you, you don't want to miss out. You know, I, uh, this whole area can be thankful. You know, next year, I think it'll be next year that we should be a uh, uh, break of uh, letting the 45 project, the North Houston Highway Expansion Improvement Project. That's 45 going all the way through from 610 North to 45 South, right there at 59 and 69, and part of 288. That's going to be a $10 billion project. It's going to be the largest project in textile history. And there's going to be a lot of opportunity. And if you in business, and you do infrastructure work, Or even if you're a staffing agency, you might, because with these type of alternative delivery projects, there's a gamut of opportunities. That's, you know, I remember when we did 288, I wasn't even aware of. But even on the 288 project, we had, we even had a, a, a DBE that had a shredding contract, paper shredding contract. We had another DBE who had an ice contract. So there are opportunities out there that uh, those contracts were worth fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. So there are opportunities, but at the end of the day, when the opportunities are, you gotta kind of, you gotta follow it, you gotta study it. You know, so uh, I could go on and on about the things that we're doing, because there's a lot. But uh, I'm gonna sort of take the time I'm I can. But I mean, uh, I encourage you to uh, uh, stay.
stay in touch with us. I encourage you to get to know our district office in Houston. We also have area offices around here as well. So uh, we got test out area office, and they have opportunities as well. But uh, going back to how I started, you know, we had a gentleman talking about uh, access to capital and the finance, we had a lady talking about insurance. But, you know, I want to get my colleague up, and she's going to tell you about an opportunity that we have coming up in uh, Houston in October that even Miss Rita, I got to highlight her because she's the kind of business that you, you, you want. You want to work with everybody, but she's the kind of person you want to work with. We just got to stand up because she's a small business. Uh, Highlight small business success story. Got a chance to work with Rita, uh, Gina, the, the CEO of the, the chamber, introduced us, called me up, we did a Zoom call, and I can almost, I can almost say the rest is history because she made it happen. She's been very successful. Uh, I can think of uh, events that we've done around the states that she's attended. She was in Houston at our doing business with Textile. She was in Bryan College Station at our doing business with Textile. So at the end of the day, she changed the business. You know, she can make it the dots and make it happen. And she's got an opportunity after opportunity. So Rita, I thank you for all your hard work. And I hope there's some more readers in the room that will follow her footsteps. Because we're here to help you but you gotta do your part. So make sure you cross my eyes, dot the T's, make sure your codes are right, so I'll leave that up to Joe to tell y'all about, about the codes and all that, but um, you know, just know that we're here, we're advocates, we wanna see you do well, we wanna see you get in that textile business. Next, Ms. Aracel Arnold. <laughs> Carlton is the speaker. He's a talker. Um, we are having a two-day bidding and estimating workshop. It is from Heavy Highway Construction DBEs, and it's a two-day workshop, October 17th and the 19th. Each day is going to have uh, different topics, so highly suggest that you attend. We do have these flyers over there at our booth and our cards uh, for more information, and uh, you can register online for either in person or virtual, but we highly encourage you to attend in person because you'll be able to have opportunities to talk to the area engineers, the district engineers, and you can have face-to-face -face with whether it's prime contractors and you can bounce ideas off of each other. We highly recommend you doing that. It's, it's part of the networking, it's part of your relationship building, and that's what we do here at, at, with, with the civil rights in our outreach and engagement group is we try to connect you with other opportunities, with other um, sources, resources. And so any questions that y'all may have, whether it's DBE related, text out related, and nobody wants to hear this, but invoice related, um, hub related, I, I'm very passionate about hub and getting them the opportunities with TechStot. So no purchase is too small. Um, we do have opportunities under the $10,000. I, I like to, I, I encourage other or new vendors, new and, new and old vendors, to reach out to me so I can do a walkthrough of our website. It's recently changed, so I can show you where and how to look for opportunities on the website, how to find contact people, uh, contacts with TechStot, and um, also I like to do a run through through the bidding process, like where to find on the ESBD. Um, how to find bids, how to look at the solicitations, how to find your um, the scope, what they're looking for. And also I try to throw a couple of tips in there on, on what to not forget when you're doing it because there's so many minor errors that occur when you're doing the bidding process that people don't think that uh, they'll get disqualified for. So um, just reach out to me, Carlton, anybody, <laughs> anybody in our group can help you. Um, email, our cards are in the back, our table's in the back. I'm gonna hand it off to Joe Sanchez, he's in our certification group, um, so he'll be able to tell you about that process. Thank you. Hello, 
My name is Joe Sanchez. I need a DBE certification. What DBE is means disadvantaged business enterprise. But as Carlton was bringing up, there's going to be more money than ever has been in this area and throughout the state. So my role here is to help firms like Blue Chip Services get some get DBE certified and get this work. Because of all these contracts that are let out, all these contracts that have been out with Texta, there's a DBE goal to it. So like you think, and you think the DBE goals for, for 5 to 10%, and all the contractors are making those goals. They're, they're making them. And then they, they will not, there's a federal regulation that's called 49 CFR Part 26 that, that requires a contractor to use a DBE on the job. If they come in without any DBE participation, they will not get that work. So they'd rather make the goal than do what they call a good faith effort. So those companies like, like uh, Rita's company, they're getting, they're getting work. And at this time, we're, we don't have enough DBE firms, so we need you out there. We need you to get your firm certified. Earlier I was speaking to the gentleman here at Mahea. They provide a good service, and we're going to work on getting them to be certified. Hopefully they can get some of these contracts with Texta. There should be plenty, and we hope we can get you in there. Um, also, we're, like the state, we're available to you. We're out there, we're, we're traveling the state bringing all the good news of work. So we want you to contact us. Um, we want you to, you know, get familiar with our DBE program. And then uh, we want you to succeed. That's all we want you to succeed. And then uh, we have our booth back there. Be sure to stop by us and give you our contact information. And then that's all I have. Thank you, Joe. We appreciate that very much. Hopefully, you guys uh, will get a lot of that information. Uh, TDCU, please come to the podium, please, now. TDCU. So Joe was talking about the Carl's talking about uh, a uh, DB certification, hub certification, and uh, I'd like to bring uh, Rita Gamble up here because she is a DB, right? Yes. Yes, and hub certified business. And what's that? Yeah, you're gonna tell them all that good stuff. I'm just introducing you. And she's on the committee. She helped. Uh, put this all together. So I'm going to turn it on over to Rita. We really like Rita. Blue Chip Services. And she's going to say all the great things that she's going to do. Thank you. So, um, I'm the president of Blue Chip Services. We've been in business about three and a half years. When I first started, um, it was kind of a challenge because as a woman in business, it's a man's world out there in construction. Um, you just have to keep pushing through and, and networking. And when I first started, I got a hold of Gina. I'm like, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> she was like, well, first, let's get you HUD certified. I was like, okay, well, let's get HUD certified. And then I learned we really need to become DBE certified so we can start bidding on construction projects. So I went ahead and did our DBE our woman-owned business and my work-owned uh, business certification. So we have all three of those plus code. As a small business, because I grew up in this area, I retired from Dow Chemical, so I was born and raised in a Dow family. And it was like, you, you kind of think small, like things can't happen for you on the state level. It can. We started bidding on state level jobs on security first. And then we started moving into the construction side for traffic control. 
now things are taking on course and they have been the last few years. And as Carlton mentioned, Jane was like, I need you to meet Carlton. I was like, okay. And so we did. We did a, a, a web meeting with him and Carlton was like, get your DVD. I was like, okay, I'll do that. He said, once you get your certification, give me a call. I said, okay, well, it was during COVID. It took eight months to get it. So as soon as I caught it that following week, I called her. And I said, Carlton, we got our certification. <laughs> I was like, we're ready to go. He was like, okay, so let's go ahead and start getting you going to where you know how to get a bit on these jobs and um, start utilizing your certifications. I can't stress enough for you guys to obtain it. Don't, don't put blinders on as high. It might not be a good way to say it, but think big. Think outside of the box. Don't think about just doing work in your area where you live. Go outside. We branch out to McAllen, Austin, Dallas, and Houston. And we've done that in two years, so it's possible. I mean, you just have to go out and work hard and hear a whole bunch of no's until you get some yeses. And once those start coming and you start proving yourself as a good duty partner, then you start building that relationship with all of these different companies and things just start happening for you. And it's been, it's been a good experience. So my advice is link up with your resources. Resort County Hispanic Chamber is a great resource. Link up, go to the workshops. We've done workshops on how to get certifications. I don't know if anyone you know, I'm sure we have a few on the DV side. I know the HEP side is growing, like that's huge. Um, but the DV, WV, WV, veterans, um, certifications. If you fall into those categories, like Carlton said, there is so much work out there. You just have to go out and get it. I mean, that's the only way to say it. Go out, work hard, go to all of their sessions that you can make that make sense for your business. Attend them in that way. I mean, it's great because I can walk into their meeting and you see the same guys at these meetings and they actually know your name. <laughs> I mean, which is nice because Texas is huge and they're all over. So when they remember your name, you know you're doing something right to get out there and, and build those relationships because that's important. I think that's it. Jana, did I do okay? <laughs> See, you are nervous for nothing. Give it up for Rudy Gamboa. She's freaking awesome. She's our strong song. She's our, uh, what do you call that? The, um, Yelp. All, all Yelp reviews because of Rita and all the great things that, that the chamber helped to uh, get Rita where she's at. So, and we didn't even charge her for that. We didn't even make her do a sponsorship or anything. We do it for free. Oh. Don't worry, I got a sponsor who I want to hit you up for that. Uh, all right, we saved the best for last, of course. And this is, uh, I don't know if he wants to come and speak. He's real bad about that, but he's actually talking to somebody right now. But this guy, this gentleman, who's, who I can really say is a good friend. He's not a very good golfer, but he's a really good friend. And uh, that's because he beats me every time he rides to the golf course. But uh, Jay Mejia with uh, Mejia Industrial Supply. It's Mejia, Mejia, it depends on the mood that you're in. It doesn't matter, it's all the same. Uh, he has donated uh, two tickets for the Texans versus the Buccaneers on November 5th at 12 noon. And uh, Jay, if you want to come up and say something, Jay, or Joseph, Joseph would like to come up. Joseph's a great guy too. Give it up for Joseph, he's uh, I think his development, sales, I think he does it all. But Joseph, tell us about Mejia, Mejia. How you want to say it? Sound good either way, sir. How you doing? I'm Joseph Sabota from uh, Mejia Industrial. Uh, this year actually marks our 20th year in business, right down the road at Oyster Creek. Um, sell pie fittings, flanges, structural steel, anything you see out in the plants. Uh, we provide the fabricators to, to make, and we've got our own group of group of drivers. So great team behind us to help service our community. Um, really enjoy being out here, meeting with people, and talking with everybody. So if y'all need anything, 
give us a call right down the road here locally. Thank y'all. All right, last four numbers, 1410, 1410. Oh, wow. Let me check that. Oh, that's Councilman Eric Aguilar, Mayor of Hotel, the city of Clutes. He just won the tickets. Eric, did you want to donate them to, to me or what do you want to do? I think Eric was the youngest city councilman ever voted in in the city of Clue. So I think that's a round of applause in itself, right? Eric is also in charge of our um, young professionals and governmental affairs. Yes, he's on the board, he's on Gina's board too. So, the Spanish Chamber Board. All right. Well, uh, we have our business after hours. It's going to start at 5 o'clock. We encourage everybody to keep your business.